Hello, is this working? Thank you so much, Marco. I believe we're running a little bit late uh, due to the weather, which is the London weather, which is rain. Um, so, good excuse, Marco. <laughs> uh, Gerard Gregg, Tech City, a number of you probably would have heard of Tech City. Uh, it started off with about 200 companies about five years ago. There are now over 2,000 companies in that area alone. But we've grown as the evolution of this market has grown, and I'm just going to give you, I'm going to share a lot of stats with you to give you an idea of how fertile the UK digital ecosystem economy is right now. What do these things have in common? The television, the jet engine, the bulb, and the World Wide Web. They were all invented in the UK. Right. That gives me a, an idea of why I'm not touching it. <laughs> um, it. There's a real rich innovation here in the UK. It's a strong legacy. And we're seeing it now in tech. This is just, these are just some of the funds that we've seen raise money in the last 10 months alone in this year, right? We have Index Ventures, Bolton, uh, TravelX is the latest fund to set up here. So what we're interestingly seeing is corporates now putting money on the table because they're clearly seeing some of their industries um, evolving with tech. Here are just some of the companies that are benefiting from this investment. It just keeps on jumping, by the way. Uh, so you have Nutmeg, Farfetch, TransferWise, SwiftKey. These are companies that are employing hundreds of people uh, but, in, uh, uh, but are raising substantial amounts of money. Um, and this has all happened in the last two to three years. So as I said, 2010, about 200 companies. Now there are over 2,000 companies. And these, by the way, are not just London-based companies. They're from right across the UK. What about recent acquisitions? Uh, you have DeepMind from Oxford. And you have, um, sorry, DeepMind is London-based. Natural Motion Games is Oxford-based. Uh, two exits uh, recently over half a billion dollars in size, right? But it's not just about acquisitions, as you all know, it's about IPOs. These are just two of the companies on our Future 50 program, uh, which we're very proud of, that launched on the London Stock Exchange and went public and you know, with valuations of over a billion pounds. So it's not just acquisitions, it's also about IPOs. And this is happening right here in the UK. But it's, let me give you an idea of why it's happening. Because the ecosystem clearly is not just about investment. It's about co-working spaces. It's about accelerators. It's about government playing a role. It's about entrepreneurs. It's about digital skills. It's about visas. And here are just some of the numbers that I can share with you about the London ecosystem. 27% of job growth in the last 10 years has been in digital. It's really led the recovery in this country. 400,000 employed, 400, employed in, in, in digital and tech in, the, in London alone. Uh, $1.45 billion investment in, in 2014. It's been named the number one place for opportunity. In fact, there were also other saver, surveys um, showing that uh, London is the most desired place to work for many people um, around the world. Uh, you have over 70 co-working spaces in London, which I hear, just anecdote evidence here, uh, I hear there's more co-working spaces in London than there are in the whole of Germany. Not sure that's true, but I'm just letting you know that I was told that many times. Over 40 accelerators, early stage accelerators, um, and there are more HQs here than anywhere in, the U in, in Europe. Uh, the good news is obviously Google, Facebook, Twitter. Facebook have an engineering team here. And clearly what that does is it gets a lot of engineers mixing with companies that are solving problems in, in these co-working spaces. You know, Google Campus. Google Campus was the first campus in the world set up by Google. The second that's, uh, uh, the one that's being opened by Google is now in Seoul in South Korea. So the 
the ground is very fertile, and a number of things have come together in the last five years that uh, explain this growth, this exponential growth. But it's not just London. We're seeing, you know, AO.com li recently listed on the London Stock Exchange with one, again, another valuation of over a billion pounds. Uh, and they're Manchester based. There's Skyscanner, a Sequoia investment uh, of Skyscanner. They're Edinburgh based. Um, Edinburgh is clearly producing some very highly skilled PhD uh, students in artificial intelligence that's driving a lot of that. Um, we see uh, strong sports tech companies coming out of Cardiff. We see, we see strong uh, gaming companies coming out of Newcastle. Um, strong cybersecurity uh, companies coming out of Belfast. And we're trying to connect as many of these cities as possible so that the whole of the UK becomes a very, trans, you know, a, a very strong network of digital excellence. So yeah, what about the business environment? I think the message here is that the business environment is very favorable to digital companies. Uh, we, you know, we, we work very closely with number 10 Downing Street. We work very closely with government to be the voice of entrepreneurs into government and to ensure that government is doing everything it can to smoothen the path to success for any company that starts here or decides to move here. Um, the London Stock Exchange has recently introduced um, the high growth segment. Um, it's changed a little bit of the rules to make it easier for companies to list here, to smoothen that path to success. Um, you know, Just Eat was the first company to take advantage of this. Uh, the Seed Enterprise Investment Scheme uh, was, uh, is probably one of the most, uh, I guess, aggressive policy changes that this government has put in place to, to unlock and unleash early stage investment. 50% um, tax relief on investment uh, uh, for early stage companies, um, the introduction of the entrepreneur's visa, and the introduction of the exceptional tech talent visa. We as Tech City UK, we endorse uh, 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 visas for companies looking to um, hire uh, exceptionally tech talented people in digital technologies from outside the EU. We try and do our best to sort of accelerate that because we know that these are very strict, um, uh, uh, well, these are very important things that companies need right now. It's not only access to investment, but access to talent. And clearly the tax regime, as of April next year, uh, uh, the UK has one of the joint lowest corporation tax in the world, 20%. So I come, I don't know where Marco is, he's probably giving me some time here. Um, Future 50 is one of our flagship programs that we run uh, by Tech City. One second, I'm not sure what's happening here. Um, it, is, it picks 50 of the fastest growing companies in the UK. You could argue it's a later stage business accelerator. We don't take any equity, but we do everything we can to smoothen their path to success and get, to them, and get them to their next stage of liquidity as quickly as possible. So we give them access into government, but we also make sure that they, they are on that journey um, to potential IPO or acquisition or, or a fundraise. Um, and we get them to introduce, we introduce them to analysts and, and people in the city so that that engagement allows um, uh, facilitates that good understanding between institutional investors and companies that are looking to raise. And that, that early stage uh, engagement is so important to ensure that there is good understanding um, of the, the businesses that are coming through for institutional investors. The numbers speak for themselves. This is only a 10 month program, uh, sorry, a 10 month old program. Um, when you look at the aggregate numbers, um, this is really annoying. When you look at the aggregate numbers, what you have here in December of 2013, these 50 companies altogether were employing over 12,000 people. They're now employing over 15,000 people. Their annual turnover in December of 2013 was 1.3 billion pounds. Uh, we like to use the, the, uh, the sterling here. Uh, and in October of 2014, the turnover had increased uh, to 2.1 billion pounds. That's a 60% 60, 60 increase in revenue. Um, a lot of these companies, it has to be said, are e-commerce companies. Clearly, you know, the UK is 
extremely dominant in e-commerce. It's one of the fastest growing e-commerce uh, markets um, uh, in the world. Um, but these numbers pretty much give you an idea, an indicator of the growth of these UK-based companies. Uh, there are four IPOs amongst these future 50 companies in the last 10 months. Um, you can see just Eat, AO, Horizon, and Zoopla. And 13 companies, in addition to the IPOs, have raised um, over uh, 260 million pounds. Um, and, and that's quite staggering. So Funding Circle is one of those companies. Uh, Synthesio is another company. Uh, Data Shift, Data Sift. These are great companies. Um, and you're, you know, you're very welcome to see who the other companies are. Uh, we have a stand downstairs. Uh, there is a, a, a book that looks like this that can tell you all about the companies, but also the in business environment for high tech companies. And thanks to the team, uh, Nezahat, who's at the front here, uh, can certainly answer any questions that you have. And Julie, who's here as well, and Philip, who leads this, this program, thanks to them. You know, we, we're in great shape. The good news is, is that we've opened this up for another 15 companies to join this, uh, 12, between 12 and 15 companies to join this cohort. And we, uh, applications are open until the 28th of November. So please ask your portfolio companies to consider joining this program. These are the other 50 companies that I was talking about. So you have a range of companies, B2C as well as enterprise um, uh, uh, software companies. Um, and these are all later stage companies, right? These are like stage B and above. Um, and as I said, to give you an idea, you know, Funding Circle raised $60 million just this year alone. Just it gives you an idea of the size of um, raise that these companies are making. So uh, I have two minutes to go, but I just really wanted to, you know, be respectful of Marco and the need for us to, to finish on time. Um, just to say that the UK environment for any tech company right now couldn't be better, but there's always more to do. And that's where we stand in between government and the tech community. We're doing everything we can to smoothen the path to success for any company that either sets up here or grows here or starts here. Uh, we're, we're, endorsed, we're one of the organizations that endorsed by number 10 Downing Street. We make sure that all the issues you're hearing through your portfolio companies the UK companies are, are heard, and that dialogue ensures that the business environment is as strong as possible for these companies to grow and create jobs in this country. So, thank you so much.